Hey guys, welcome back to Care of Kids. Today is Good Friday. We're so glad you've joined us on this very special episode. It's really important that we always remember what God did for us on this day. If you don't know the story, that's totally fine. We're going to learn all more about it now. So let's get started and I'll see you later. And now sing because 
I'm Charlene and I'm part of the Windsor site. Do you know what is today? Right, it's Good Friday. And do you remember last Sunday? What was last Sunday? It was Palm Sunday. And we remember Jesus entering Jerusalem and the crowds were so excited, they were cheering. Can you actually imagine that the same people who were so happy to see him would turn against him within that week? I will tell you all about it today. And after that, we're going to have some quiet time. We're going to pray and thank Jesus for what he did for us. And while I'm reading, I would like you to remember how much he loves you and how much he loves us all. So make yourself comfortable and I will start reading. So you are king, are you? The Roman soldiers jeered. Then you'll need a crown and a rope. They gave Jesus a crown made out of thorns and put a purple robe on him and pretended to bow down to him. Your majesty, they said. Then they whipped him and spat on him. They didn't understand that this was the prince of life, the king of heaven and earth who had come to rescue them. The soldiers made him a sign that said, our king and nailed it to a wooden cross. They walked up a hill outside the city. Jesus carried the cross on his back. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but they were going to kill him the way criminals were killed. They nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, forgive them, Jesus gasped. They don't understand what they're doing. You say you've come to rescue us, people shouted. But you can't even rescue yourself. But they were wrong. Jesus could have rescued himself. A legion of angels would have flown to his side if he'd called. If you're really the son of God, you could just climb down off that cross, they said. And of course they were right. Jesus could have just climbed down. Actually, he could have just said a word and made it all stop. Like when he healed that little girl and stilled the storm and fed 5,000 people. But Jesus stayed. You see, they didn't understand. It wasn't the nails that kept Jesus there. It was love. Papa, Jesus cried, frantically searching the sky. Papa, where are you? Don't leave me. And for the first time and the last, when he spoke, nothing happened. Just a horrible, endless silence. God didn't answer. He turned away from his boy. Tears rolled down Jesus' face. The face of the one who would wipe away every tear from every eye. Even though it was midday, a dreadful darkness covered the face of the world. The sun could not shine. The earth trembled and quaked. The great mountains shook. Rocks split in two. Until it seemed that the whole world would break. Their creation itself would tear apart. The full force of the storm of God's fierce anger at sin was coming down. On his own son instead of his people. It was the only way God could destroy sin and not destroy his children whose hearts were filled with sin. Then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, it is finished. And it was, he had done it. Jesus had rescued the whole world. Father, Jesus cries, I give you my life. And with a great sigh, he let himself die. Strange clouds and shadows filled the sky, purple, orange, black, like a bruise. Jesus' friends gently carried Jesus. They laid Jesus in a new tomb carved out of rock. How could Jesus die? What had gone wrong? What did it mean? They didn't know anything anymore, except they did know their hearts were breaking. That's the end of Jesus, the leader said. But just to be sure, they sent strong soldiers to guard the tomb. They hauled a huge stone in front of the door to the tomb so that no one could get in or out. Isn't it amazing what Jesus did for us? That he died on the cross for us because he loved us so much. And that means that whenever we mess up, whenever you do something wrong with that would separate us from God, We are not separated from God anymore because we are forgiven because of what Jesus did for us. So let's take a couple of moments and remember what Jesus did for us.
you already know Jesus, why don't you thank him today for what he did for you on that day? Maybe you have never asked Jesus to be your forever friend, but you would like to. If that is you, please ask a grown up to pray this prayer together with you. I admit that I have said, thought and done things that are wrong called sin. I believe Jesus is God's son and he loves me and he died to save me from my sins. I choose to ask Jesus to be my forever friend and savior and to follow him for the rest of my life. Amen.
Easter adventures. Woo! We have got another obstacle course for you ladies. You've got a spoon and you've each got an egg and you have to roll it in between and around the different oh. eggs that you've got on the floor until you reach the end. Except, except, <laughs> except you have to be on your knees and you have to only use the spoon in your mouth to roll your egg around the shapes on the grass. Any comments from you, John? I need to spit out my gum to do this. Any <laughs> comments from you? I am ecstatic and she is getting <laughs> scrambled. Very good. Are we ready? No. No! On your marks. Get set. Go! So we have the chicken versus the egg in what promises to be an excellent challenge. The question we are all wondering is, who will come first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken has flown into the lead, but the egg is having a good crack at this. Let's not count our chickens before they've hatched, anything could happen here. Will we see a mighty comeback from the egg? Perhaps she has some chicks up her sleeve. This chicken is a real handful. Oh dear, we seem to have a bad egg. The clock is ticking. Who will be top of the pecking order today? And the plot chickens. The hen seems to have given up halfway through, hopefully she won't chicken out. Or has there been some foul play? Oh well, she has egg on her face there, how embarrassing, this egg was beaten by a chicken. That's some serious exercise. Right there, egg. No. Wasn't that such a good episode? I hope you all enjoyed it just as much as I did. Isn't it so incredible to hear about how much God loves me and every single one of you at home? Now, I've got some super exciting news for you. On Easter Sunday, there's going to be an extra special episode of Kids TV and a Zoom meeting. But that's all from me. So bye, guys.